Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshings tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Users occasionally encounter models that are inherently symmetric, and by leveraging the symmetry and only modeling a portion of the full geometry, they can save time meshing and running the solver on a smaller computational domain. The full model can later be recovered by either rotating or translating the solution during post-processing. In order to ensure that copies of the original mesh, when rotated or translated, are aligned properly, the periodic boundaries opposite each other need to be point matched. Pointwise makes creating periodic domains and connectors easy. Here I have a single blade passage for a high stagger axial rotor. By meshing only the single blade passage and using periodic domains instead of the entire axial rotor, I can save myself a lot of time in both meshing and solver runtime. First, I'll create the initial database constraint domains on the periodic boundary that has been defined. Next, I can create periodic copies of these domains to form the opposite periodic boundary by first selecting all three from either the list panel or display window, and then from the create menu, select rotate from the periodic submenu. This opens the periodic rotate panel. The periodic panels for rotate and translate mirror those same panels for the transform command in the edit menu. For this copy operation, I need to define a center axis about which rotation is to occur and the angle of rotation. For defining the axis of rotation, I can either explicitly pick a curve using the display window, define the axis using two points, or provide a point and a direction using the corresponding radio buttons. For this example, I'll select the point and direction radio button, enter 0, 0, 0 in the XYZ entry field to specify my point, and then select the radio button labeled with an X to align the axis direction with the positive X coordinate direction. The full rotor for this example case consists of 41 blades, so I need to copy and rotate these periodic domains 8.78 degrees. Entering this value in the corresponding entry field updates the display with a preview of the copied domains in yellow. To save these changes and exit the periodic rotate panel, click OK. Now these domains are shown as periodic in the list panel, and any changes made to one, the dimension of an edge for example, will automatically be updated in the other. And that's how you create periodic domains in Pointwise. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.